In this episode, I'm making a festive and elegant menu that you can proudly serve to your family and friends for Ramadan iftars or any time of the year. Our main course is a culinary masterpiece from Ottoman cuisine Islim Kebab. Chicken kebab wrapped in thinly sliced eggplants, promising full of flavor. I will complete the menu with sütlaç, Turkish rice pudding with caramelized top, and cacık, cold cucumber and yogurt side dish. This is Ayşenur Altan and you are in Turkish food travel kitchen. Let's dive into this feast together, making memories that last beyond Ramadan. First, I'm gonna begin by slicing my eggplants. Try to choose one that are long and thin, which is perfect for wrapping. After partially peeling, cut very thinly and do the same to the other eggplants. Sometimes the eggplants can be bitter. If it happens, you can rub the eggplant slices with some salt. Wait for 15 minutes to get the bitter juice out. Pet dry with a kitchen towel. Then you can either deep fry for a time. That's what we do traditionally, but today I'm gonna bake it in the oven to make it a bit lighter. You can also grill them on griddle. Meanwhile, I'm going to make the filling. My pan is heating. I'm dicing one medium sized onion and I have one chicken breast that is frozen and halfway thawed. This way it is easier to cut in cubes. And I'm going to saute the chicken pieces first in some olive oil and then add the onions at the same time i'm also cooking sütlaç rice pudding i have the recipe on the channel just check the links to watch it my chicken pieces cooked truly adding the onions they could have been a bit smaller looks like i was in a rush then added some uh, chopped green peppers from the freezer and again some sliced halfway cooked mushrooms. It is really handy so I would recommend to keep it in the fridge when it is the season. After sauteing for a couple of minutes I added about a half a cup tomato puree, some chili flakes, pul biber salt and black pepper just saute for a couple of more minutes and our filling is ready within 10 minutes my eggplants got softened i turned the other side to cook it evenly going to drizzle some more olive oil and continue to bake for another five seven minutes My sütlaç rice pudding is done as well. You can serve like this, but I would like to burn, caramelize the top. So I portioned them into heat proof ramekins, which we call güveç. Poured some water to the tray and going to broil until it has some caramelized top. My eggplant slices are cooked well, so the filling is ready. Now we can begin to shape. Use a medium sized bowl to help shape it and place from the eggplant slices, three of them usually is enough and uh, place from the filling. Do not overfill because we want enough leftover uh, hanging eggplant slices to cover. Turn it over, 
And here we go. Perfectly wrapped chicken filling with eggplant slices. I have perfectly wrapped 8 istim kebabs and to decorate I'm gonna use some uh, tomato wedges and green pepper slices. So cut them in like chunks and using a toothpick place one uh, tomato wedges and from the green pepper and secure it to the top of the islim kebabs. In order to bake our kebabs in the oven we need some sauce so it can cook well in the sauce without being dry. So I'm melting 1 heaped tablespoon butter, you can add some olive oil, add 1 tablespoon tomato paste, some chopped garlic, stir for a couple of minutes to get some uh, flavor. You can add about half cup of tomato puree or grate two medium sized tomatoes if it's the season. Add enough hot water, let it sizzle and pour over the Eastern kebabs while it is still hot. And they are ready to bake in about 180 Celsius degree oven for about 30 minutes until the veggies are soft. Here are my uh, sütlaç, has nice caramelized top. I'm gonna let them completely cool down before serving. As a side dish I'm making cacık, yogurt cucumber dip or side dish. So I'm grating with the skin on one big size cucumber with the uh, coarse side of the grater going to use some homemade yogurt I have the recipe on the channel I'm gonna add the links use a whole milk yogurt full fat if you are buying add some water cold water some salt and dried mint you can also add fresh mint or a dill even would be very delicious if you prefer you can add fresh garlic as well and add finally some ice cubes and adjust the thickness and our jajik is ready. On the table along with jajik and our main dish isim kebab I have some iftariyelik plates which has some dates, cheeses and olives. It's a tradition we have. We break our fast with it, have our evening prayer and then continue to the meal. It also helps to digest first a little bit, not to overdose yourself to eat right away. I also have some Ramadan pides, homemade. I have the recipe, I'm gonna add the links. So this is it my friends. I hope you give it a try and enjoy this menu. If you are fasting, what's your traditions during the Ramadan you make? Please share them in the comment section. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Ramadan videos. Afiyet olsun.